So, having a spiritual ego is an actual thing. Now, I didn't, I've heard this term a lot, but I didn't really think about it much until I just got a comment yesterday on a video of mine. And this dude was kind of like trying to prove his spiritual ego. He was trying to prove that he knew maybe like more than me or, um, he was like trying to send me a link to this book that some other guy wrote and I'm all for that but my honest opinion is I don't like to pay attention to shit like that unless it's a book you wrote. So like if you went through hundreds of psychedelic experiences or if you were like an architect who like you know, went to Egypt or whatever and then wrote a book on Egypt, I would love to listen to the audiobook to that or whatever the fuck, you know, um, but I don't want to, if you're someone who is kind of like someone who's done research on psychedelics and have only had a handful of psychedelic experiences, it's not a disrespectful thing, it's just I really don't think you know enough on the topic to really talk about the topic, just because, um, um, just because I've smoked weed five times doesn't mean I I could tell you everything about weed type shit. You know, I've been smoking weed for over 10, 13, 14 years. So, like, I kind of know about weed and cannabis and the receptors and all this shit and whatever. I've done a lot of research on science and molecules because this is the life I live. So, when somebody's coming at me with ignorance, it, to me it's straight ignorance to assume that I don't know. Um, and I'm not someone that plays the black card, right? Because I don't give a fuck about my skin tone. But I'm someone that's observant, so I'm obviously observant to know, okay, I'm a tatted up brown skin guy. Um, but the way I talk makes people think something about me. But reality is, I don't even have my GED. I didn't finish high school. I didn't go to college. I did nothing like that. I fucking failed in school when I was in high school. Like, I, like my highest grades were like 65s type shit. But I don't know. Most people have this assumption of me. So I didn't know if it was from that or whatever. But never judge a book by its cover because reality is not what it seems. So this dude was just thinking that he knew. And I just felt bad because I always feel bad for someone. Like if you're in someone's comments and you're just sitting there like, um, you're fucking wrong, yada, yada, yada. But this dude wrote an entire essay, like an entire fucking essay. So like I'm reading this entire essay and in the beginning he gets what I'm saying. But then near the end, like in the middle of it, he's basically saying... You can tell, you can see that your past, yada, 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 and all this other shit. And he's trying to put his past on, on me. And, you know, just because his dad wasn't in his life like that. And my dad wasn't in my life as much as I would have liked. He thinks that that, like, connected us or something. But, like, no. Two different situations. I have healed my trauma. I forgive my father. I love my father. It's it's just thing. He, he obviously didn't love his father. He never forgave that situation. But... Then people will use psychedelics and they'll gain information like with DMT, with ayahuasca, with mushrooms, a lot of people gain information. And because lately I've been using a lot of LSD lately and kind of talked a lot about LSD, this dude had this misassumption that like um, uh, LSD is what I use to heal me. And like, I'm an honest person, you know, I use psychedelics for different reasons. So like I use, I use cannabis to get high because I love to get high, but um, I also, you know, I use LSD because it's shit. I, got a little, I love to trip and have fun as well. But mushrooms, DMT, ayahuasca, these are spiritual tools. LSA, Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds, these are spiritual tools that I use to connect to a higher realm of existence, to connect to a higher realm of information, uh, to connect to the field. Uh, it's just, I use these things for so many different reasons, but... I was trying to explain to him, shit, I just use LSD to have fun, man. Like, I still learn a lot, though. Trust me. If you go into LSD just trying to have fun, it might punch you in the fucking face. You might sit there and shatter. But because you don't get what you want, you get what you need with psychedelics. But, you know, obviously I'm not using MDMA for the same reason I'm using ayahuasca. It's This is a common sense thing. But this is the life I live. I don't live a, what people would say, normal life. That's why, like... I kind of say I live a modern shamanic lifestyle. You know, this is a lifestyle. This isn't that I'm a shaman. I'm just living the lifestyle of a shaman in a sense where it's like I take plants 
spiritually. I meditate, I travel dimensions with psychedelics, um, I've learned a lot from them and I'm applying it to my life and I'm trying to start businesses and I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that and there's so much shit I'm trying to do in my life and um, it's just because what else are we supposed to do with our lives? You know, if you're not working on your goals, who the fuck is? And like Terrence McKenna said, the mushroom once said to him, if you don't have a plan, you'll become part of someone else's plan. That's why you have to make your own plan and follow through and work on a plan, work on how to get your goals at the end of that plan and work on just step by step by step and build the life that you want to live. It's a very simple thing, but humans make it so complicated because we either want to look good, so like... I know I'm not Buddha. I know I'm not Jesus. I'm a little more rough around the edges than that. So, like, I understand that I'm not, um, people have this misassumption because I use psychedelics and I look like the spiritual guy, but, um, spirituality is not as spiritual as it seems. Uh, it's a lot more tough and rough and sadness and shattering and uh, sometimes screaming and crying. And there's a lot of rough things around spirituality because, Truly finding yourself sucks fucking balls. Um, it's not fun. So, like, that's something I'm realizing. And when you have people who have this giant spiritual ego, the spiritual ego is people who, you know, use psychedelics, but they only use two grams of mushrooms. And they do it in a party setting, you know. Now, if you did an eighth of mushrooms, put a frequency on, turn the lights off, Put a blindfold over your eyes and lay down for three hours. Like, you will start to travel, to see closed eye visuals, to experience a spiritual aspect of the psychedelics. This is about intention and why you're using the substance really has a lot to do with what the substance does to you. So, I don't know. I think a lot of people don't understand that belief is really the only thing that is. And that's why I'm careful with what I believe, but I also understand belief is all that is. So if I believe I can make it, I can make it. If I believe I cannot make it, I cannot make it. If I can believe I'm happy, I'm happy. If you don't believe you're happy, you're probably miserable. Life is based on that. But it's just this weird thing where like, I don't know, that spiritual ego, will you'll have your own experiences and you'll think the knowledge that helped you is the almighty knowledge that can help everyone. And that is the false problem. That's the problem right there. The information you've gained on your psychedelic experience only was for you. You. And yes, your knowledge that you've learned on the psychedelics might be able to help me. It might be able to help someone else. But it's not going to be able to help everyone. And if I applied your psychedelic knowledge exactly to my life, it'd just probably fucking make me miserable. So like... I'll take parts of what you've learned and apply them to my life. Don't do everything I do and apply it to your life. Take small parts of things I say, small parts of things that would work and fit into your life because it's what you are trying to do. Because you're not trying to be me. Like, that's the mistake of the world is people take advice from someone because that person's happy or that person's whatever, but you're not trying to be that person. You're not that person. You are you. So unless you understand, like, this is just a matter of finding yourself and then expressing to the rest of the world, hey, this is how I found myself and maybe it can help you find yourself. But what I know is not guaranteed to help you. Anything I say, all my advice, everything I whatever the fuck went through, it might just fuck your life up. It might just make you miserable. That's why you should never just do what I do. Um, you should know who you are and then go from there. And yeah, don't get caught up in the spiritual ego. I just don't get caught up in thinking you know something. You might know something for yourself, but that don't mean you know something for someone else. So like... Don't be scared to spread your information and talk about things, but don't be an egotistical asshole trying to say your way is the way, because there is no way. There is no right way. There is no wrong way. There is only if that way made you happy, that was the right way. If that made, way made you miserable, that was the wrong way. <laughs>